if we continue to produce and purchase and consume at the rate that we are, we are just going to end up with a depletion of natural resources. <laughs> Essentially, fast fashion is fashion which is produced very, very quickly, um, responsively to trends. It's not the highest quality. Um, it is not made to last. But we could argue that the entire fast fashion system is actually propped up by the fact that brands are able to have products produced very, very cheaply because they are not legally required to pay a living wage to workers. Obviously, that is not to say that every garment is produced in this way, but that is, you know, a very big component of fast fashion. In terms of the environmental impacts of fast fashion, at the moment we are seeing unprecedented rates of overproduction and overconsumption. The level of garments and accessories and products which are produced, bought, and then never worn, is staggering. If current trends continue with fast fashion, so by that we mean the rate at which we produce and consume, we are in huge trouble as a society and as a world because populations are growing. We are seeing a raise in disposable income around the world. We're seeing a lot of people want to participate in fashion. And fashion is an incredible tool to express ourselves and to communicate. Um, it is a really wonderful experience and something that everyone should be able to participate in. It's just a question of how we do that. Because if we continue to produce and purchase and consume at the rate that we are, we are just going to end up with a depletion of natural resources, polluting our natural environment from land to air to water. Uh, this is gonna have a knock-on effect on communities, on biodiversity, on the animals that we have. You know, the, the impacts are, are colossal and endless. If we can come together and if we can get businesses as a whole to understand and address their responsibilities, whether this is through changing legislation to create requirements or rewards for brands based on their performance, then I think we have a real chance of slowing down the impacts that we're having. But at the end of the day, for any of this to have a real true impact, we really need to think about what we're buying and why um, and slow down our consumption habits. So for instance, at EcoAge, we have something called the 30 Wears campaign. And essentially what this means is don't buy any garment that you don't think you will wear at least 30 times as a bare minimum. And then if you do wear it 30 times and you think, okay, actually, this doesn't have a place in my wardrobe anymore, gift it to somebody or swap it. We should be aiming to invest in pieces which have been built to last, that aren't going to become out of style really quickly, that aren't going to fall apart. And if we can have more mindful wardrobes and if we can make more conscious choices with what we're buying, then we have a better hope of cleaning up the fashion industry.